Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Alyssa Del Torre and I'm going to show you how to turn your beautiful neck into a maggot infested wound like this. Okay, so first we are going to take the Mayron Skin Wax and an angled spatula, just like this. We're going to take chunks of the skin wax, roll it into little cylinder pieces. This is going to make the maggots. And you're going to want to roll it and make as many maggots as you want to crawl out of your neck. Then we're going to take the Spirit Gum from Mayron. We are going to paint it onto the entire area we want to cover in the wound. And I like to tap it just to make sure that it's tacky and ready to go. And you can test it with a little piece of wax to make sure it sticks. If you get too much, it's going to be slippery and the wax won't stick right. So once you start putting the wax on, this is where the angled spatula comes into place really nice. It makes it very easy to blend out on the outside of the wound. And because you want the inside to be really jagged, like it just ripped out of your neck. So repeat this process, taking little strips of the wax and fanning them out, making the shape of the wound that you would like. Next, we're going to take the Mayron Pro Coloring Bruise Wheel and an applicator sponge. We are going to rip out tiny little pieces, just like pinch them out, so it gives it a nice texture. This is what we're going to use to stipple on the color. Now, the Pro Coloring is an alcohol-activated palette, so I spray it with alcohol and then dip my sponge in there. And then you can see I'm just stippling and stamping on the colors. I went in with the Maid's Yellow first, and then I went in with the Olive. I like to bring it up around the jawline and onto the cheek a little bit. You can see it starts to give it that sick look. Now I'm going in with an eyeliner brush or an artist brush that has a very fine tip and very lightly I am twisting and rolling the brush down to create the veins. And I'm going in with the Burnt Maroon from the Mayron Pro Coloring Palette. I like to start heavier and thicker right by the wound and then just feathering and fanning it out towards the end. If you find any veins that are already on your body, I like to trace right on over them. It gives it a real nice realistic look as well. And if you get too much, just take a clean sponge and stamp onto it and it'll pick up some of that color. Then we're going to go in with the Burnt Maroon, paint on the inside of the wound, cover that completely. Make sure you get up on the sides of that wax that we put on there. And going in on top of that with the Midnight Sky from the same palette gives it a little bit more depth as well. It's coming together! To make sure the maggots have a little bit more of a realistic look, I'm using a clay molding tool that has a loop on the end to give ridges to the back, as you can see here. Then we're going to go ahead and start placing them where we want, and I'm using the back of that wooden spatula just to blend out and push that wax into my neck. And where we paint it over, because we use spirit gum, it's still going to be a little bit sticky and tacky, so the wax will stick very nicely to it. You can see I'm just blending it on out. And I'm trying to keep as much of the wax as possible on there in that round shape so it looks like they're actually crawling out of the neck. Another thing I would recommend would be to use some bigger maggots, littler pieces, 
so that they don't all look the same size and that they're all coming and crawling out of your neck at different rates. There goes that little guy. Put that one back. Okay, now we need to paint these creepy crawlers. I'm just taking a normal paintbrush and I dipped it in the midnight sky and putting little dots on the backs and also putting it in the lines of the ridges just to accentuate that a little bit more. To reactivate the paint that was left on the sponge that we used earlier, I sprayed it with some alcohol. Then I am just building it up onto the maggots. I always start with a little bit and we can always build it up to more. Then I'm using the Graftaban blood paste taking a paintbrush and grabbing like a dime size amount and going in and stippling this into the wound. Now I really like this blood paste because it's really thick and you can add texture by stippling it or the way that you use your brush to make strokes in it and it has a nice wet look. You can see here another thing that I'm doing is taking the brush and going underneath the little worms because it gives it that look like they slithered their way out through the blood and it's taking a little bit with them. Now take the Mayron stage blood that is a little bit lighter than the blood paste. Put it onto a brush and you can see how it has a thick gel texture. This is going to be really good to add another dimension onto the blood and give it that wet gooey look like it's fresh wound and the maggots are eating your neck out. Okay, so you can see I'm not so happy about this, but I'm using the Jason's Vitamin E Oil. It was the only oil that I had in my house. It's way too nice of a product to be using on this, but it's all I had. I recommend using just a baby oil gel that'll work just fine. Pour some out, dip your paintbrush in it, and drip that oil on the back side of the maggots. It gives them that nice, slithery, slimy, moist texture. And yes, I'm using moist because I know a lot of people don't like that word because this is a gross, creepy look. And just adding some final touch-ups, adding a little bit more red in here, and then we are complete. Flesh-eating maggots. Now you can show this off to all your friends at the Halloween party and be the star of the show. Don't forget to follow me on all my social medias at Alyssa Del Torre and be sure to hit the subscribe button for the latest video. And thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.